Hello students, today we shall look into the second part of polynomial chapter and we shall study about the division algorithm for polynomials. The division algorithm states that given any polynomial p of x and any non-zero polynomial g of x, there are polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus rx, where rx is equal to 0 or degree of rx is less than degree of g of x. Let us look into an example to understand this. Divide 2x square plus 3x plus 1 by x plus 2. Look how do we divide? We have 2x square and divisor is x plus 2. So, in order to find out with what we have to multiply, let us divide 2x square by x. What do we get? 2x. So, I need to multiply with 2x. So, 2x into x will give me 2x square and 2x into 2 will give me 4x. Now, on subtracting, we see that 2x square gets cancelled and 3x minus 4x will give me minus x plus 1. Now, I have x here and I require minus x. So, I will multiply by minus 1. So, minus x minus 2 I get and when I change the signs, what do I get? x gets cancelled and the remainder is 3. So, I get quotient as 2x minus 1 and remainder as 3. Okay. Now, let us look into the division process stops when either the remainder is 0 or its degree is less than the degree of the divisor. So, here the quotient is 2x minus 1 and remainder is 3. Also, 2x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 2x square plus 3x minus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 1. That is 2x square plus 3x plus 2 can be expressed as x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 plus 3. Therefore, what is dividend? Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, this is the division algorithm we have verified here. Now, let us look into the next question. Divide 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 by x square plus 2x plus 1. We first arrange the terms of the dividend and the divisor in the decreasing order of their degrees. Recall that the arranging the terms in this order is called writing the polynomial in standard form. In this example, the dividend is already in standard form and the divisor in standard form is x square plus 2x plus 1. Look here, we require 3x cube. How to go about for the division process? We will take 3x cube and divide by x square. So, I am left with 3x. So, I will multiply by 3x. 3x into x square will give me 3x cube and 3x into 2x will give me 3x square and 3x into 1 will give me plus 3x. Right? Now, when I subtract, all the signs will change and what do you observe? 3x cube minus 3x cube gets cancelled. x square minus 6x square will give me minus 5x square and 2x minus 3x will give me minus x plus 5. Now, same process here. We have minus 5x square and I am given here only x square. So, obviously, I will multiply by minus 5. Okay. So, minus 5 into x square will give me minus 5x square, minus 5 into 2x will give me minus x and minus 5 into 1 will give me minus 5. On changing the signs, if I subtract, obviously, signs will change. What do we have here? F minus 5x square and plus 5x square gets cancelled and minus x plus 10x will give me 9x and what is 5 plus 5? It is 10. So, what is the remainder? 9x plus 10 and what is the quotient? It is 3x minus 5. Let us verify the division algorithm. Just see the steps which we followed for the division process. 
to obtain the first term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of the dividend that is 3x cube by the highest degree term of the divisor that is x square. This is 3x. Then carry out the division process. What remains is minus 5x square minus x plus 5. In the second step, we obtain the second term of the quotient that is divide the highest degree term of the new dividend minus 5x square by the highest degree term of the divisor that is x square. This gives minus 5. Again carry out the division process with minus 5x square minus x plus 5. In the third step, what remains is 9x plus 10. Now observe, the degree of 9x plus 10 is less than the degree of the divisor x square plus 2x plus 1. So, we cannot continue the division any further. So, the quotient is 3x minus 5 and remainder is 9x plus 10. Also, x square plus 2x plus 1 into 3x minus 5 plus 9x plus 10 is equal to 3x cube plus 6x square plus 3x minus 5x square minus 10x minus 5 plus 9x plus 10. We can see on simplification we get 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5. Here again we see that we have verified dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Having done this, let us do the first question of your exercise given in NCRT that is 2.3. First question says divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x and find the quotient and remainder in each of the following. Polynomial given is x to the power 3 minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. We are supposed to divide it by gx that is x square minus 2. Observe here if I multiply x square by x I get x cube and x into 2 will give me minus 2x. Now on subtracting the signs will change here, x cube gets cancelled. I am left with minus 3x square, here 5x plus 2x is 7x minus 3. Just observe, we, we have minus 3x square and I have only x square here. So minus 3x square divided by x square will give me minus 3. So I need to multiply by minus 3. I get minus 3x square as first term minus 3 minus 2 will give me plus 6. So, if I change the signs here, you observe that minus 3x square and plus 3x square gets cancelled. I am left with 7x and minus 9. So, what is the quotient here? It is x minus 3 and what is the remainder? 7x minus 9. Just observe the degree of remainder is less than the degree of divisor and the division process stops. I hope you have understood this. Now let us look into the next question. We have here p of x as x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and g of x is x square plus 1 minus x. Just observe the divisor is not in the standard form. First let us write down in standard form that will be x square minus x plus 1 right and what is p of x? It is x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now x square if I multiply by x square, I think I will get x to the power 4, yes x square into x will give me x cube but I do not have any term of x cube here. So, I will write it separately as minus x cube and third term will be plus x square. Notice that I am writing the degrees, similar degrees below the same degrees that is x to the power 4, below I have written x to the power 4 and if I change the signs, look here, this gets cancelled. What is minus 3 x square minus x square? It is minus 4 x square. Then comes the next degree here plus x cube standard form we will follow and plus 4x. Now observe we have x square but I require x cube. So I will multiply by plus x. So what do I get? x cube minus x square and plus x. 
on changing signs, x cube minus x cube gets cancelled. I get minus 3 x square plus 3 x and 1 5 is here. Let us take down and now just observe we have x square, but I require minus 3 x square. So, let me multiply by minus 3. I will get minus 3 x square minus 3 into minus x is plus 3 x minus 3 into 1 is minus 3. Okay. Now, if we change the signs, what do I get? Minus 3 x square plus 3 x square gets cancelled. 3 x minus 3 x also cancels. What is 5 plus 3? 8. Good. So, what is the quotient here? Quotient is x square plus x minus 3 and what is the remainder? It is 8. I hope you have understood this. Let us look into the next part. Here the polynomial is x to the power 4 minus 5 x plus 6 and g of x is 2 minus x square. Again notice it is not in the standard form. I should write down the divisor as minus x square plus 2. Okay. And this is obviously in the standard form x to the power 4 minus 5 x plus 6. Now children with what I should multiply? I think I should multiply by minus x square that will give me x to the power 4 and 2 into minus x square will give me minus 2 x square. I am writing it separately because there is no term of x square in the given polynomial. Now, if I subtract signs are going to change and this gets cancelled. So, I am left with 2 x square minus 5 x. Now, I think I will multiply by 2 minus 2. So, I will have 2 x square and minus into plus will give me minus 4. Here I had 6 and this will become minus 4. So, if I change the signs, look here. 2x square minus 2x square gets cancelled. I have minus 5x plus 10. So, the remainder is having the degree less than the divisor, division stops. I cannot divide it any further. So, what is the quotient? Minus x square minus 2 and what is the remainder? Minus 5x plus 10. I hope you have understood this. So, let us look into the next question check whether the first polynomial is a factor of second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. So, what should be my strategy? If I am able to divide it exactly, the remainder should be 0. If the remainder is 0, I will find that the first polynomial is a factor of second polynomial. In case I get a remainder, then I cannot say that the first polynomial is a factor of second polynomial. Let us see this. We have here 2t to the power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. I will divide by t square minus 3. So, using the same strategy, what is that? 2t to the power 4, I have to divide by t square to find out what is required for me to multiply. It is 2t square. So, if I take 2 t square, I will get 2 t to the power 4, 2 t square into 3 will give me minus 6 t square. On subtracting, this gets cancelled. I am left with 3 t cube plus 4 t square minus 9 t. Now, I have t square, but I require 3 t cube. So, I need to multiply it with plus 3 t. So, 3 t into t square will be 3 t cube minus 9 t. I hope you are following the process. Now, if I change the signs, what do you observe? 
3 t cube minus 3 t cube gets cancelled. I am left with 4 t square. This gets cancelled. I am left with minus 12. Now, children, can you tell me with what I should multiply? Yes, I think I should multiply with 4. So, 4 t square. 4 3s are 12 with a minus sign and what do you observe? We have 4 t square gets cancelled and minus 12 plus 12 also gets cancelled. So, remainder is 0. As the remainder is 0, I can say t square minus 3 is a factor of given polynomial. What is that? 2t to the power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. I hope you have understood because I got the remainder as 0. I can say first polynomial what is that t square minus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial. Understood children? Okay. Let us do the next part now. We have first polynomial as x square plus 3x plus 1 and the next polynomial is 3x to the power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Okay, so, this is our divisor. It is in standard form. This is our dividend plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Now, if I multiply by 3 x square, I think I will get 3 x to the power 4. 3 into 3 will give me 9 x cube. Okay. 3 x square into 1 will give me plus 3 x square. On subtracting, I get 3 x to the power 4 cancelled with 3 x to the power 4. What is 5 minus 9? Yes, minus 4 x cube. What is minus 7 and minus 3? Yes, you are right. It is minus 10 x square plus 2 x. Now, students, x square is to be multiplied by what factor so that I get minus 4 x cube? You are right again. It is minus 4 x. So, I get minus 4 x cube. 4 3s are 12. So, I will get minus 12 x square and minus 4 x into 1 will give me minus 4 x. Let me change the signs. On subtraction, we will have minus 4 x cube cancelled with plus 4 x cube. What is minus 10 plus 12? Yes, sign of a bigger number. So, 2 x square. What is 2 x plus 4 x? It is 6 x and 1 2 is here. So, we bring it down. Now, if I multiply by 2, I think I will get 2 x square plus 2 3s are 6 and 2 1s are 2. Yes, I think all the terms are getting cancelled and again the remainder is 0 here. So, what I can say students? I can say the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. Yes, x square plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of given polynomial 3x to the power 4 plus 5x to the power 3 minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. I hope you understood this. Shall we go further? Okay. Shall we do the next part now? So, students, let us see this third part. Let us find out whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. We have x to the power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. Divisor is x cube minus 3x plus 1. Yes, you are right. I should multiply by x to the power 2. So, I will have x to the power 5 here. x square into minus 3x will give me minus 3x cube. Good. x square into 1 is x square 
now if I subtract signs will change and this gets cancelled. What is minus 4 x cube plus 3 x cube? It will give me minus x cube and this is also cancelled. We are left with 3 x plus 1. Now, if I multiply by minus 1, I think I get minus x cube plus 3 x and minus 1. Everything is getting cancelled. Let us see. No, x cube gets cancelled. 3 x minus 3 x gets cancelled. 1 plus 1 is 2. Here remainder is 2. So, I cannot say x cube minus 3 x plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial because remainder is 2. Since remainder is 2, x cube minus 3 x plus 1 is not a factor of given polynomial. So, students I hope you have understood this very well. Uh, let us look into the next question now. Obtain all other zeros of 3 x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. If two of its zeros are square root 5 upon 3 and minus square root 5 upon 3. This question is very important from examination point of view. It has been asked in board exams many times. So, let us see how we can do it. We are already given two zeros and here degree is 4. So, what does it convey? It has two more zeros. That is why it is asking all other zeros. Okay. So, two zeros are given, two more I need to find. So, if I am given minus root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 are zeros, I understand that x minus alpha and x minus beta, if I take, I can write down x minus root 5 by 3 and x plus root 5 by 3 as two factors. Here I am reminded of one identity a minus b into a plus b can be written as what? a square minus b square. Using that I will be able to write see here a minus b into a plus b can be factorized as a square minus b square. So, I can write x square minus root 5 upon 3 whole square. That means x square minus 5 upon 3. This can be used as a divisor now. If I divide the given polynomial with this, I will get another factor and that factor if I split with the help of middle term, I will be able to find out other two zeros by finding the factors. Let us see x square minus 5 by 3. If I divide 3 x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. I think I will multiply by 3 x square. So, I get 3 x to the power 4 and what is minus 5 by 3 into 3 x square, 3 gets cancelled. I get minus 5 x square. On changing the signs, I will get 6 x cube plus 3 x square plus 10 x. Now, I have x square, but I require 6 x cube. Shall I take plus 6 x? Yes, that will give me 6 x cube. Look for the second term, minus 5 by 3 into 6 x. That gives me minus 10 x. Okay. So, I will write it below 10 x and on subtracting, what do I get? Here, I think I have messed up with the sign. No, it is correct, minus 10 x. I get 3 x square plus, no, I am sorry here, I think we had minus 10 x, 3 x square minus 10 x. If I multiply by 6 x cube minus 10 x, yes, now if I subtract this gets cancelled, I have 3 x square 
minus 5. Okay. Now, I think I will multiply by 3. What do I get? 3 x square and yes, minus 5. On subtracting the signs change and remainder has to be 0 because I was already given that these two zeros are there root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3. So, what do I understand students that the given polynomial 3 x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5 can be written as product of x square minus 5 upon 3 and 3 x square plus 6 x plus 3. Okay. So, I need to factorize this so that I can find factors or zeros for the polynomial. By splitting of midden term, I can write this as 3 x plus 3 x plus 3. Look here, 3 plus 3 will give me 6 and 3 into 3 is 9. So, both the conditions are met and we have here 3 as common, 3 x as common. So, I have x plus 1 and here 3 is common. So, x plus 1 is also and the factor. So, what do you observe? I get x square minus 5 upon 3 and two factors are x plus 1 and x plus 1 again it is 3 x plus 3, but can I take 3 common here? Yes. So, what do I understand? I get x square minus 5 upon 3, this was already with us and we have 3 if I take out common x plus 1 into x plus 1 are the required factors. That means, it gives me x plus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1. So, what are the other zeros? All other zeros are x to the power minus 1 and x to the power minus 1. So, in this way we have obtained all the zeros of the given polynomial 3 x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. I hope you have understood this. Let us do the next question now. Yes, on dividing x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 2 by a polynomial g of x, the quotient and remainder were x minus 2 and minus 2 x plus 4 respectively. Find g of x. So, we remember what is dividend? Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. plus remainder. So, we have here x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 2 that is divisor we are dividing it by g of x and the quotient is mentioned to us as x minus 2 and what is the remainder minus 2 x plus 4. Now, students see. I will first simplify this and then I will go for division process. I have x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 2 minus 2 x will become plus 2 x when it comes to the side and plus 4 will become minus 4 and I will be left with g f x into x minus 2. Let us simplify this. It is x to the power 3 minus 3 x square, what is 2 x plus x? It is 3 x minus 2, 2 minus 4 is minus 2. I will divide this by x minus 2 to get my g of x. All right. Now, let us do the division process. I have x cube minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 2. If I divide by x minus 2, with what I need to multiply? Yes, you are right, it is x square. I get x cube minus 2x square. On subtracting, I get minus x square plus 3x. So, 
with minus x, I get minus x square minus x into minus 2 will give me plus 2x. This gets cancelled and I have here x minus 2. So, plus 1 will give me x minus 2 and thus what is g of x? Yes, you are right. g of x is x square minus x plus 1. Hope you have understood this. Let us look into the next question. Give examples of polynomials p of x, g of x and q of x with rx which satisfy the division algorithm. Degree of p of x should be equal to degree of q of x. Degree of dividend is equal to the degree of quotient only when the divisor is a constant term. Let us take an example 3x square plus 3x plus 3 is a polynomial to be divided by 3. What do we observe? 3x square plus 3x plus 3 if I divide by 3 I will get x square plus x plus 1 that is equal to q of x. Thus you can see that degree of quotient is equal to degree of dividend. Hence the division algorithm is satisfied here. Let us look into the next part. Degree of quotient should be equal to degree of remainder. Let us take an example. P of x is equal to x square plus x is a polynomial to be divided by g of x that is equal to x. So, x square plus x divided by x will give me x plus 1 that is equal to q of x. Also remainder r of x is equal to 0. Thus, you can see that degree of quotient is equal to degree of remainder. Hence, the division algorithm is satisfied here. Let us look into the next part. Here degree of remainder is 0. The degree of remainder is 0 only when the remainder left after division algorithm is constant. So, let us take an example p of x is equal to x square plus 1 is a polynomial to be divided by g of x is equal to x. So, x square plus 1 when I divide by x, what do I get quotient as x and remainder as 1. So, clearly the degree of remainder here is 0. Hence, division algorithm is satisfied here. Now, after understanding this, it is time to take up the homework. We have the first question. Find all the zeros of 2x to the power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. If you know that two of its zeros are square root 2 and minus square root 2. This question again is very important. I have picked up these questions from previous CBSC board exam question papers. So, please do practice them. Second question is divide 3x square minus x cube minus 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 minus x square and verify the division algorithm. Question number 3, what must be subtracted from p of x is equal to 8x to the power 4 plus 14x cube minus 2x square plus 7x minus 8 so that the resulting polynomial is exactly divisible by g of x that is equal to 4x square plus 3x minus 2. Question number 4, for what value of k is the polynomial f of x is equal to 3x to the power 4 minus 9x to the power 3 plus x square plus 15x plus k completely divisible by 3x square minus 5. Okay. Now, let us summarize so, what we have studied today? Division algorithm for polynomials. If p of x and g of x are any two polynomials with g of x not equal to 0, then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to q of x into g of x plus r of x, where r of x is 0 or degree of r x is less than the degree of g of x. That means, degree of remainder should be less than the degree of divisor. Division is performed in the following steps. What is the first step? Divide the highest degree term of the dividend by the highest degree term of the divisor and obtain the remainder. Step 2, if the remainder is 0 or degree of remainder is less than the divisor, then we cannot continue the division any further. If degree of remainder is equal to or more than divisor, then repeat step 1. If remainder is r of x is equal to 0, then g of x is a factor of p of x. 
So students, I hope you have understood the division algorithm for polynomials. Uh, please practice the questions which I have given to you and I hope you will master this concept. Thank you. Thank you.